Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back in honor of the great Pete the Boar being walked out the door. Today's video is going to be a what if every single player on the San Jose Sharks were to be traded now this one should be an exciting one we'll go ahead here and we'll take a look at some of the pieces this team has they have carlson they have burns merkley obviously not out the door if you're new to this series we walk out the door the starting nhl players we do not walk out the AHLers. we try not to throw out the scratch players which is difficult to do obviously because people go in and out of the lineup but we do our best we can with that all the nhl players must go and interestingly enough yeah, he's like Brent Burns or Carlson. Now, Burns 34, a little bit more understandable, but Eric Carlson doesn't have max dot trade value. So we'll see what we can get for Carlson. Those will be guys we try to manually create trades for because as we've mentioned before, you don't really get anything but draft picks and a very lousy trade offer at the end of the day for a lot of these guys. So we're trying to make it a little bit more realistic, make it a little bit more exciting. If you were to actually trade Eric Carlson, could you possibly get a return type of deal there? So we will save a couple of those guys. We're going to start off with, you know what? Let's go with Vander Kane. A Vander Kane seems like a nice, lovely guy. Let's see if there's any teams willing to wheel and deal for a Vander Kane. There's a couple. Well, by couple, we mean like 28, which is a little bit more than a couple. At least it is nowadays. Buffalo says two seconds. I don't know about that. Only two seconds. Chicago, first, second, and Gilbert. As we've mentioned before as well, we try to take the ones with players in it. Keeping in mind, we do need goalies. Goalies and Kudobin in a first. Dallas loves walking Kudobin out the door. They also have Harley, though. A top four defense and medium potential. Three years, entry-level deal. I like that. You can never turn down Tippett, though. The thing is, with a lot of these guys, we will see them offered multiple times. And that is the reason we try not to be too picky with them, because a lot of the teams will throw the same guys out there for these players once again in the next one but we're going to start off with saying uh, you know you know what i'm feeling i seen his name i am feeling sammy vatnin i don't know what it is he stuck out i'm like vatnin in the third let's do it let's get some defense why not i think we call it defense and the devils will let me know if you know if they play defense over there and not the devil's fans that is but i think we'll do all right vatnin new place to play maybe he plays a little bit better here so a Vander Kane out the door would have liked a little bit better than that. Ferraro, a lot of people raving about Ferraro over there in San Jose. They've been playing pretty solid lately. Our team's thinking the same in NHL 20, though. That was a very, oh, there it goes. And so that was a very dramatic buildup for what wasn't the ALB button being clicked in there to bring up trades. A lot of teams interested indeed. 47 trade offers to be exact. We're seeing some first in there. The Washington Capitals are saying a first round pick seems great. Kairu still being willing to be sent out the door over there in St. Louis. Addison, Joseph, I don't think. Well, Columbus Blue Jackets second. You're welcome, Ottawa. Thank you for giving us a player that we scratched for half a playoffs. I appreciate that. that. was a great deal. New Jersey's just willing to throw everybody out there. They're just tanking love for Lafreniere. Is that Lafreniere? I keep calling him Lafreniere. It probably isn't Lafreniere, but I'm not French, so maybe that's the problem there. We're going to go tip it. We're going to go tip it, I think. Tip it, the young defense, or not young defense, but the young winger. Six top six forward potential. We're going to throw him in there. And did I just, did I, oh, we accepted and it didn't need roster moves? Oh, okay. Usually it needs a roster move or not. All right, then. Sick. That'll work. That will work. Perfect. So we have him out the door. We're going to go with the first line. So Kane, we got to grab Couture. Kater needs to go. Here you are. I like Kater. I'm a big Kater guy. I'd actually like to try to draw up a trade with Kater, I think, because I think he's getting a little low ball here. Let's see if we can find a nice trade for Kater. All right. You guys ready for this one? We have a trade drawn up here, spicing things up. We're talking Pasternak, Krug for Carlson, Couture, and Vlasic. Now, you look at the bars. They're actually relatively close. Boston would have way too many skaters. Yeah, that's the problem here, Boston. That's the problem. I would come up with that excuse, too, if I had to walk past the pasta man out the door here. I say pasta. I say pasta. You say tomato. I say tomato. We're, oh, oh, we'll do you a favor. What do you think about this? We're going to take David Backus off your hand. That should make this trade even better for, uh, or for you. Sounds like a deal to me. What do you guys think about that? The trade is rejected. I think we're going to make this work, though. We have to, right? We have to see what it would take to get guys like this. I'd be interested to see this. This is something for future videos. What do you guys want to see? Who do you want to see on your team? And comment it down below. We'll do your team a player you'd like to see on your team. Maybe we trade some players away. See what it would take from your team to get them players. We can make that part of this series as well. Say you're, I don't know, a Minnesota fan. And you want, you know, Connor McDavid. That's probably not going to happen, let's be honest. But, you know, a, a good player. And you want to see us go through your team? Comment that down below. We're going to throw one. 
I think we have to go young. Nah, we're going to go Thomas. Thomas Hurdle's still young. He's only 25. We're going to throw Hurdle on this. And the thing with Boston is they're being such a pain because they have players. We have to return the same players that we're getting. So we'll go this guy here. All right, now we are doing really good. I think Hurdle, Vlasic, Carlson, Couture. We're giving you a great defenseman. But man, are you giving us somebody in Pasternak right there? I am a big fan. Send it. There it is. That was easy. That was way, see, if it was that easy in our <laughs> win Stanley Cup in one year builds, I think we'd be making probably, you know what it is? We gave them players though. What a ginormous trade. The biggest blockbuster trade we've done in this series so far. Sending away Carlson, sending, I feel like we just fleeced Boston a little bit there. Now, granted, we did just give them Thomas Hurdle. I don't know. We gave up a lot. We gave up a lot. Let's take a look one more time what we gave up here just to take a second peek at it. I, it was a lot, but we gained a lot. I guess because we know Pazda is going to be a great player, but you walk Carlson out 29, Couture other side of 30 coming up here thomas hurdle 25 now hurdle a younger player of course that could be a questionable one but then you have vlasic out the door as well 32 i feel like we gave up a lot of older players here and we got a lot of the younger ones in return that seemed like a pretty solid trade i know it's still it's still a lot it's still a lot and if you're boston you're like wow look at this team now looking pretty solid to say the least where's our other player carlson vlasic hurdle there was one more was there not one more who was it that we gave up that is not showing up here oh no that's right couture vlasic hurdle carlson but you see if you're thinking boston and you're thinking uh san jose or you're like yeah we lost couture and we lost hurdle but we replaced him with Pasternak, who can go out there and just be both of those players for you. And then some is the thought. And then you're picking up Krug. I don't know. That's, that's a good deep pair to get rid of. That is a lot. But it's what it was going to cost if we was going to get a solid trade taken care of here with EA. So I think we had to do that there. Let's keep on going. No, Timo Meyer will save you for a bit. Tippett, you're already taken care of. You're not supposed to. Well, you aren't taken care of. You're supposed to be on the other team. that you are technically traded for. All right, it's time to walk Goudreau out the door. Not Johnny type. See if anybody's willing to trade for him. The 26-year-old, still young. Not a lot of trade value, but I'm assuming we're talking, yeah, we're talking a lot of draft picks here for the most part. We'll just grab, oh, and Melvin Ingram's brother. Does he play goalie? Probably not. I would have guessed that's probably not him. Tyler Ennis, that's more of a guy that can play for us. Top nine guy. Looking for guys that can fill the voids here. We do have to make sure we are at the same time grabbing players in net too because we do have to remember that as well unfilled roster spots i understand ea i understand completely so we traded somebody that did not play earlier or what what happened there we're filling these lines up though looking good nonetheless meyer again i think we're gonna try i like the combo trade thing i think that's a good you know a way to spice it up a little bit when we trade all these players because yeah a lot of the other guys aren't going to go for as much but i feel like some of these guys with some trade value we got to try to get something for let's look at leblanc next let's see if we can walk him out the door i can't believe his trade value is that low I feel like that guy's got a lot of potential. He is 23, I guess, but still, 82, 23. Be curious to see what teams are willing to give up for him. I'd trade for him. i take that chance. Scandella, whoever wants to keep Scandella, they always want to walk him out the door. Kudobin, we talk goaltending. Do we go to Kudobin and pick up that goaltending finally? Make sure it's knocked out of the door. I don't know. We've seen Thomas Grice offered a couple of times as well. I think I'd rather go Grice than Kudobin, if I'm being completely honest here. Engvall, Abramov, uh, let's go boucher that guy's uh top bottom six forward though not a big fan of that one we will go let's go smart let's go smart smart shnamar shnamar there is no m in that who taught you how to read there's absolutely zero m there. if you add a little loop to the end note i mean technically there is an m so, i mean maybe we just you know did that but um, 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 um who else we got here who else do we have we have we got lebanc we gotta walk out did we walk out thornton yet I think we got to walk out the ageless wonder in Jumbo Joe. Yes, sir. 40 years young. He's got about the same trade value as LeBanc did. Good for him. We're giving out. You know what? You know what? We're going to go Gilbert here. We're going to go Gilbert. We like going to young guys. Gilbert is coming to the San Jose Sharks. Along with some very solid players here. Oh, we got to get Sorensen. Sorensen. I seen a Sorensen the other day. Oh, you know what it was? It was a comment. There was a comment with a guy's name was Sorensen. That's what it was. He's close though. He's got a little bit of trade. No, he doesn't. I, I lied. Don't even don't even listen to me. Don't know what I'm talking about. Steiner! Not Alex type. Still intrigued. Come on down. Welcome to the team. Glad to have you. We're just taking everybody from Boston now. We're just gonna be the San Jose Bruins. Hope they don't mind. That would be a video idea right there. Can we trade our entire team for another team's entire Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Mark that one down. That is a challenge. You guys want to see that one? I kind of want to see it. Let me know what you guys are thinking about that. I like that. I like that. that would be 
We'd have to go for like a Columbus Blue Jacket. Even a Blue Jackets have a team with a lot of trade value, though, at the end of the day. I'm not saying we have to go for a team with a lot of trade value, but even a Blue Jacket's got POD, you got Seth Bones. Uh, let's go David back as we traded for, thankfully. We would love to have him on a team. Carlson, how about you, buddy? Actually, you know what? Let's go Marlowe. Marlo, is anybody willing to trade for you? An older player, 39 years old. Oh, yeah. One trade, and it is Dallas. They love trading those for those old guys. Come on down, Dallas. You can have him. Damn, Brell has a little bit of trade value. What if we package him in? What if we do a little liney package here? We go Gambrell and we go Carlson. Does somebody want to make... Nope, no. Nope, okay, we won't do that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Good call. We'll try just Gambrell. It's fine. Not really about that complicated trade life. I respect it. See what we can get out of. Uh, the Ducks, decent. That's a pick. Bennett, bow type. Oh, it's a bottom six guy. We're not really looking for that. Halak, goalie, need him. Consider we sold. Hey, again, it's a Boston Bruin. They really are. They love making deals with us. After that first trade, they're just like, let's keep going. Got the ball rolling. Why stop now type deal? It's working for them. We may as well keep going. We need to get, was it Carlson that needs to go next? Oh, we did not trade Carlson. Yeah, Carlson needs to go next. I'm assuming he's got a low trade value. Again, a guy who might just get some draft picks for a lot of teams making willing to make trades though. If we can get a top nine guy though, I don't mind that. Top nine seems great. Called up to the NHL. I mean, we just called up, we just traded for a guy that is an AHR, it looks like. But still, it looks like a good addition there. Did we trade? We did not. Okay, so we have one more forward left, I believe. One more forward plus the bigger name forward. So we're going to try to, again, combo in there for a little bit of a better deal. But let's see what we can't do here for our good friend uh, Gregor. I knew he was around here somewhere. We'd find him 70 overall. EA. Yeah, that's what they thought about that it was like yeah right i ain't going for no 70 did i actually tr click on his name though yeah we did okay we did i had to double check there for a second he is not a big fan of him boston don't want him apparently because that was our one and only hope there so we got a we got a ferrar so he's got to go he has got to go we did hit ferrar right i think we hit ferrar early it looks like it yeah we look good here so we got to go he next hopefully somebody wants good old timothy here just a little trade offer shall do bo bennett they really want to give us Bo. Watch that not even be Bo Bennett, but it'd be like Bob Bennett or Brendan Bennett or Big Time Bo. Could be Big Time Bo. Marino. All right, we're getting Dan Marino, baby. Dan Marino, welcome to the team. That's going to help these fellas out. Now, we should go back before we get fancy here and trade away our last studs. We should go take a look at this team, see what we can improve on. Because like I said, we're trying to at least do something to make them competitive. It's very hard to do in a trade simulator in EA because they never do like fair trades. You always have to substantially overpay for things. So it does make it, you're obviously going to make your team worse at the end of the day. But if we can do something here to help it out, it'd be great. Okay, Steiner, you're a 63 overall. We can, oh geez, we really could use some players here. Um, we got a first line kind of a little bit yeah there's that we have you know past an we'll see how great that trade was but besides that we need a fourth line the defense still got brent burns still got that and see we have some better defensemen dylan type needs to be walked out the door though i believe still he's an 82 you don't belong here he's a san jose shark right what am i thinking undrafted of course he's a san jose shark but you know just in case you know say we didn't know we'd have to take a look and he is 22 points so he has to go to Lucky for us, I don't think he starts. He hurt right now. He isn't starting. What is that? A plus five? How? Oh, I want that. Sign me up. He's got a top four, top four. Defensive defenseman, offensive defenseman, top four, top four. I don't think that matters. I think yeah, somebody already told me that. They just randomly throw stuff together there. But dang, a plus five. Do we really have to trade those guys? Yes. All right, so we're going to try to throw Dylan onto this trade with Burns. We're going to try to pick up Dadnob and Yandel. Try to get something in return here. I don't think they're going to accept this. We'll give it a try. They will not. We have looked at your trade block needs, and it, we are completely matching those. No bias in that comment at all, I promise. The so Meyer can still go. Is that all we have to work with is Meyer, I think? I think that's all we have here. From a trade value perspective, at least. Yeah, it's looking like it. So we might have to go Meyer just straight up for him. But if that's what it takes to get these guys, then that's what we're going to have to do. We can drop Dylan, I guess. We can drop Dylan, go Meyer. I know Meyer's an overpay if we're going straight Meyer. But if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. So we'll go Meyer and we'll go Burns. I mean, how much of an overpay is it, though? You're getting a decent value in Yando, a decent value in Dadnov. And it's keeping this team lined up. There it is. Walk them up there. Oh, we have a goalie left. What am I thinking? I forgot all about that. We have to walk. We always forget the goalie. You know why? Because he does not show up there. So let's see what we can find 
for our goalie friends here can we trade oh we picked up halak already okay jones goes for absolutely nothing so that is perfect that is just what we was looking for and you know looking for a goaltender wow bob's not that expensive either good for bob Let's see what kind of goalies have price tags out here uh not in the neighborhood jimmy howard no dallas stars bishop is uh, they just lowered trade value for goalies i think this year a little bit with bishop being lower as or see anderson is yeah about half maybe that was an update this year i didn't really pay much attention to where goalies don't go for as much markstrom they ain't gonna give us markstrom we're gonna try though we are gonna try it's gonna be great it's gonna be huge we're gonna throw dell onto that trade offer and then we are gonna throw on good old Bob Dylan. I'm just gonna call him Bob Dylan. I can't, I can't resist. B Dylan, man, you can't miss an opportunity like that. Send it. They ain't into that. I didn't think so. All right, what do we try? Kemper instead of Rant. Oh my goodness, I understand. Same drill. You still need us to make sure you're not over the limit here. I'm sorry, friend. I was gymmed for two teams. We'll try to pick Pedersen up again. Big fan. There we go. Made the trade. Couldn't quite get Ranta, but we did get Kemper. Not a bad deal there either. We'll take a look at this team. Uh, it's it's going to be a challenge. It definitely will be a challenge. We traded for a lot of younger players per se. A lot of guys without the highest of trade value, but we kind of expected that. We brought it up. Hopefully, though, this could be the first time we took a team into the playoffs doing this. It's not terrible, I guess, at the end of the day. We got some decent guys around there. Tippett still holds a little bit of value and... I mean, that's about it. We got Shara. Uh, Shrar was not a guy. Darlene! That is not the same Darlene. We, we're killing it. We have Darlene Pedersen. What else do you possibly need? A great Steiner? This team is ready to rock and roll. I take a look at the lines here really quickly, though. Pasta, Bacchus, and Dadana. Oh, what a first line. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Could Oh, we get Pedersen, too. He's playing. Third line in him. Emil Pedersen, a.k.a. L -E, even starts with an E. I mean, he's got everything you could possibly ask for. That guy is definitely an Elias Pedersen S type guy. Yando Krug on defense, Vatten and Schmeck. We're really not that bad defensively until you get to the third line, but it still does not look like a playoff team to say the very least. The goaltending's not bad though, right? I think we had, what, Halak and Kemper in net. So we actually have a chance to save some pucks for what that's worth. Yeah, Halak and Kemper. Decent overalls. We'll see how this team sims up though. I imagine uh, early predictions, we're going to say 32 and 40. Which, uh, 32, 40, and 10. At uh, 32 and 40 would be 72 games, which would probably not happen if it's an 82-game season. Just throwing it out there. You know how it is. If you can't win the preseason games, you're not going to win the regular season games. And we're about 500 in the preseason. Not looking good. Two's wild until the Edmonton Oil is ruined. And so I'm assuming not too hot here. We'll see how we go. We can always hope these San Jose Sharks play well. Right now, one and two. Not bad, not bad. You're allowed to have slow starts. Just got to finish the season hot. Three and two. We're actually not starting the season too bad at all. Over there against Calgary. Got to pick up the W there as well. This is an underdog story waiting to happen. Five and two. Can David pass their knack and the boys go over there and win game? Can he put them on the back? That's the question. Him and Halak and Kemper. I mean, uh, defense. I guess Tori Crew could help the team out too as well in that department. Mary, maybe carry this team top heavy still wins games in this one we've talked about it and we can't stop beating the nail in the head because it continues to confuse me that this game does better with 75 and 80s on the bottom six than it would 85 and 90s even though they're the better players i guess because they're not used to playing at roll but san jose right now loving it 13 5 and 1 an absolute slobber knocker of us i don't know why we started using the slobber knocker so much lately but hey jim ross how you been doing man Call me sometime, maybe. You know, probably not. Do you still use a phone? You're older. You probably use it. 16 and 7. Look at this team go. Solid start this season. I'm just waiting for us to cool off a little bit here where we can speed this sim up. But we've been a playoff team all year and we are in a yeah, second place in a division. I was waiting for it to bring that up. Second place. Second place in a division. Tore this team absolutely apart from the coach down. Literally. You just walk the GM owner out the door and everybody would have been gone all in one day. All in 24 hours. Would have been impressive. Starting to see the L's creep up on us now. 20 and 14. Teams are starting to figure out this San Jose game plan. AKA just stopped. Hey, it's working for Edmonton though, right? Just stopped the first line. It's winning them games. Why not win us some games? They got Nudes there on the second line helping them out. I think they got Nudes on the second line. They might have him on the first nowadays. I mean, if they put Nudes with Nick David and Drysaddle, then we could call Nudes the third best player in the league too, right? That how that would work. 26 and 16. Looking pretty good. San Jose killing it right now. 28 and 16. First place in the division. Passed up those Vancouver Canucks. Got a pretty solid lead on them right now as well. Look at this team. 
What's going on? 48 and 29. Finally, we're losing some games. I think you know what happens in these sims. They wait until March to crush your hearts. It seems so often you get to that March month and things just start to fall apart. It looks like a rather weak division though where we should make playoffs. We still might win the division. I mean, we're going to finish, you know, 46 wins. That's still solid. Right around that. No, we're not. Just at the end, the Flames are going to jump past this big games we needed to play and win there. And we lost both of them, Dallas and Anaheim. Still, how about this team, boys? How about this team? 45, 34, and 3. Pasternak doing what he can to carry this team. Not 85 points. Dad enough, minus 10, still dropped 74. Minus 15 out of Yanda. Wow. How did we win so many games? Look at these plus minuses. Tory Krug minus 14. We must have had a killer power play. Minus 17 out of Ennis. Still some solid point productions there. See at the bottom of this team. Elliot, 7 for 21. Good for you, pal. Good for you. I should clarify because I haven't yet. That I, I'm aware that's not Elias Patterson. I'll get the comment. They'll be like, hey, you, you, you realize that's not the actual Elias, right? <laughs> yes, barely. The actual Elias is going to be a future Blue Jacket here in a couple months. So, of course, he's not going to be in the San Jose Sharks. Why would he be there? Let's take a look at the goaltending, though. Kemper, 904 decent. 16 and 6 out of Halak, 918. Looking great as a backup. Would have thought Halak would have stole more starts than that, honestly. But, hey, not bad, not bad. We can live with that. Maybe even consider starting a lot more. He looks like the better goaltender there. I want to take a look at these standings, though. How did we do on the power play? 3.1 goals for 3.06. We had some ridiculous numbers at the end of the day. How we made plus, I don't know, the power play, 21%. Maybe that had something to do with it. Looks like the best in the division, possibly best in the league. 81% penalty kill. Decent there. Sharks and Canucks are going to be our biggest concern. Well, the Canucks first. And then, uh, I said Sharks and Canucks. We are the Sharks. Flames and Canucks are going to be the competitors here we have to worry about. First, the Canucks. We look like the favorite here against the Canucks. We'll see if we can take them. The Central has St. Louis, Dallas, Colorado, Jets, and Blackhawks. So that will be our second or third round conference finals matchup there if we make it that far. The entire league, we've seen the Penguins 108, 107 out of the Bruins. Even with what we did to the Bruins, still 107. I mean, we really didn't do much. We took, you know, two players from them and gave them a, an entire house. You consider they still have Marchand, they still have Bergeron. Granted, if it was for one year, it really doesn't sound that bad. But you think of, you know, obviously the future of Boston. You wouldn't want to trade away somebody like David Pasternak for, you know, we could have him under contract for the next eight years and his prime to say the least. But for one year, you think Bergeron and Marchand can carry the load? I'm sure they could. Here we go, though. Vancouver, round number one. Looks like a four-game sweep waiting to happen. I told you, fellas. It was just a matter of time until reality set in. And there's an overtime loss. There's our overtime win. Reverse sweep still possible. It's still possible. Overtime. Not overtime. Regulation. Back to... Oh, no! The reverse sweep is going to happen. We got to jump into this game. I got... You know what happens? I got faith. That's what happens. San Jose home game down 3 nothing in the series. They got a chance to reverse sweep the Vancouver Canucks. What could be worse than them not winning a draft lottery pick for like 30,000 straight years? Getting to the playoffs. We're going up 3 nothing, and then getting reverse swept. Let's see if we can make it happen. Golubin over there on Kemper in period number one. There's another one period number two. I'm sorry, Vancouver. I did not mean anything I said. That was rude. It was disrespectful. Oh, please play nice and let us score some goals here. Bo Horvat there in a second, by the way. There is a shot by Tori Krug. Nothing doing there for those San Jose Sharks. Gonna lean on Krug. Gonna lean on that first line in general. There's a goal. Tori Krug. We talked about him. Gotta lean on him. 10 minutes left. Down a goal. Got a chance. Pepper and shots galore. It is all San Jose in the third period. Two shots to about 12. Tie ball game, baby. The comeback San Jose Sharks are not stopping today. We are heading to overtime. Markstrom right in front of him. You can't allow that shot. Even the guy's names who I've never heard of can put those in the back of the net. Here we go. Overtime. Vancouver has the chance to pull up the ultimate choke job. That up 3 nothing in the series. Huge save by Markstrom. That could have been the game. Power play Canucks. This could get ugly. Big save there by uh, Mark Kemper. Power play Sharks. Can we end it on the PP? The answer is no. Continuing on. Can Vancouver pull this off though? Come on. I gotta see it now. I am rooting for the Sharks galore. The ultimate choke job. Up 3 nothing. Up 2 nothing in game 7. Blowing everything. It's like Kim Kardashian up in this son of a gun. Here we go. 2-2 two, two game. 5 minutes left in overtime. Can we get something going? Ah, uh, we're going to a double overtime, fellas. I can't handle this. I can't handle it. Just end the game. Look at this, though. It's been all San Jose. All San Jose once again, shooting from every and anywhere. This They got to pick up the win in over double overtime, don't they? They have to. 
This team's been killing it. Let's go. Send it, baby. Well, we're not going to get a fresh screen. That's fine, I guess. All right, there it is. Game winner. San Jose does it. Down 3 nothing in the series. If it isn't Dan Marino's stepson or brother or cousin or aunt, uncle, probably not related at all with the game winner on Jakob Markstrom. And the San Jose Sharks do the unthinkable and pull off the reverse sweep. It was worth it at the end of the day. I don't care what happens from here. The reverse sweep with a team of one line and a bunch of other guys pulling it off. Gonna lose to these Calgary Flames, it looks like, pretty easily. Uh, no, actually, it's two to, uh, two to three. Got a chance to still pull off the upset here if we can. I gotta go down a page. It's not gonna be sitting that up. Here we go. Don't count out these San Jose Sharks. That's all I can say. And until they lose a game to the Calgary Flames, just like that. It's not a big deal. One out there, they'll pick up the reverse. The reverse sweep! We need to do that in one of our sims where we're trying to win the Stanley Cup. That would be the money maker right there. Let's take a look at who won the Stanley Cup. It was the Flames. Nothing to be upset about. Lost to the Stanley Cup champions. Can always hang your hat on that one right there. We'll take a look at the awards real quick before we get out of here. Pasternak, once again, 10 points in 13 games. Needed a little bit better performance out of him. Clearly, they're in the finals. We've seen a 2-1 to one loss at the end. Kucherov, Art Ross, Kucherov with the Memorial. James Norris going ahead. Come on, we got to get some San Jose freaking. Come on, man. Did you see the San Jose Sharks team? I don't know if you've seen the third, fourth, and second lines, but we got to get some sort of trophy out here. There's Goudreau, there's Rask with the Vesna, Jennings the Hart. I mean, come on. You got to give the Jack Adams to him, of course, but you got to give the Selkie to Kopitar. It, no, you got to gotta give the Ted Lindsay. You got to give it to David, I think. Oh, well, I'm biased. Maurice Richard going to Ovechkin. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, a subscribe, thumbs up. Always appreciate it and every required. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time.